What is going on guys, it is Zero, and today I have an inner ability video for you guys. So before we start the video, I just want to talk a little bit about Luminous and what is best for Lumi's inner ability. So originally, I thought that 50% buff duration was the best line that you could get on the first line for Lumi. So I had that for a very long time. So the reason buff duration is so good is because Luminous does not have any stance outside of Equilibrium and very rarely are you in Equilibrium. So uh, having 50% buff duration will give you 100% uptime on Mahail's Link skill, which gives 100% stance, which is really nice. It also increases the duration of your natural Equilibrium the equilibrium that you get by hitting things with light and dark skills. So for a very long time I was pretty convinced that 50% buff was the best line that you could get on your first legendary line as a Luminous. But a few months ago I was doing a bit of theory crafting with some friends that also main Luminous and we came to the conclusion that having a unique line of buff duration on your second line and then going for attack speed on the first line would be the best possible configuration because you only lose 12% buff duration but you gain an attack speed stage which is much more valuable than the 12% buff duration. The only issue is that finding a unique buff duration line on your second line is much much harder than finding a legendary buff duration or even attack speed on your first line. So if you're playing a Luminous and you're in reboot specifically and you're still at like a mid to early game stage of the game I would still recommend you going 50% buff duration just because it's a lot more common to get than 38% buff duration. This is more for super end game when you're just trying to min-max everything. I ended up dropping a whole bunch of mesos on circulators. Luckily they changed circulators so they act like black cubes now. So I was able to just keep throwing money at them. I ended up spending I think around about 14 billion mesos on circulators. And after many painful hours of meso farming we found it. A drop rate. <gasps> yes! 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 Oh my! Yes! 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 Oh my! <gasps> we actually got it! So that happened about a month ago. I was super happy because. Nexon announced the Half Off Honor event, which just ended. There was two weekends where if you re-rolled your inner ability with Honor, it was half the price that it usually would be. So I was super hyped for that event. So last weekend I rolled and I got 20% drop rate, and then I used that to get my Latchlin symbol up to level 10 super fast. And the following video I'm about to show you guys is from the last day of the event, which was today, or yesterday, I guess. Enjoy! We have 2.5 million honor. Hopefully, uh, we get lucky. Alright, let's do this first try. Alright, this is probably going to, uh, take a while. 30 attack. Do this real quick. Alright. Whew! And we're off. Multi target plus one. Oh! It's a double unique line. Too bad it's trash. If we got 15% drop on either of these two lines, I would probably. Well, I would definitely love that. <laughs> But uh, we'll see what we get first. Uh, Aisu Kasai, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. 27 attack. 
20 drop again? Come on, man. I'm actually surprised we got 20 and not like 19 or 18. Oh. Plus one magic attack for every 12 levels. Hey, thank you. Yeah, whenever you see uh, this line move, because this line is already unique, if it moves to the bottom line, it means the middle line is unique as well. So yeah, it is possible to get two unique lines. 20 drop it! <laughs> what the heck? Hello? Game? Oh! We rolled from 20 drop to 18 drop. Very funny. Again? <laughs> Game, please. 18 mezzos obtained. Oh, we got the combat orders line. My biggest nightmare is, uh, what's this? 15 boss. Um, clicking too fast, or like having the thing lag. So I'm trying to, because I'm holding down enter right now, so I, I'm really scared I'm gonna like find attack speed and then click again by accident. So I have to like react. If I get if I get attack speed, I have to like instantly take my finger off the enter key. <laughs> so I'm concentrating really hard. Final damage. Bad. Fifteen health, thirty five int, eighteen mezzo again, eighteen mezzo again, <laughs> the third time. <laughs> God damn it. Bypass cooldown. It's pretty useless for Lumi. Oh, bypass cooldown again. Oh, yes! 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 Oh, that was so quick! That was only like 503k? Oh! Wait. I, I don't know. Maths. <laughs> 530k? Oh, we did it! Feels good, man. That's the dream right there. So we do have 1.9 million honor left over. I'm dead inside, thanks for the follow. Gonna go ahead and lock both of these lines now. Well, it's 9k to lock both. Um, I don't know what we want on the last line. Anything good, like, if we get, like, an epic magic attack line, drop rate, crit rate, I would keep either one, either one of those three. Um, yeah. Regardless of what happens, even if I get absolutely nothing, <clears throat> I'm, uh, super happy with that text. That was so easy, what the heck? <laughs> alright, alright. Let's do it. Third line. Don't think I would keep a, a rare tier line because it doesn't give that much. Oh, well that. Oh. Ten drop. I'll take it. <laughs> hey, Lama, let's go. So that's a. Uh, Pretty much an ideal inner ability. Holy moly. The only way this could be better is if this was 15%. But this is like the max amount you can get at Epic. So I'm keeping that. What? <laughs> I have so much honor left over. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Woo! 
So yeah, that's my inner ability. I am super happy with the result. Pretty much the best that I could have hoped for. Uh, probably won't be touching this inner ability ever again. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!